Coach, you went one and one today. In, in the morning, you guys gave number 21 ranked Oklahoma Christian pretty much all they could handle. That game was exciting. Um, coming into it, we knew it was probably going to be a pitching battle the entire game, and, and that's what it was. Um, our ace against their ace, and Bailey Bauman really threw well. Um, came onto the mound and just took command of the of the game from start to finish. Uh, the thing that hurt us in that game was we just weren't able to string hits together. Um, we go from lighting it up the first three games or the first six games of the of the tournament down here to then that game we kind of just kind of started to. I don't know, not be aggressive, or when it was our pitch, we didn't take what we needed. So our bats were kind of quiet there, but uh, we got the hits when we needed. We capitalized on their errors, and that's how we got our two runs on the board. Um, and we battled with them all seven innings. They got one run across, in the, I believe, in the bottom of the six, and that kind of finished it off for them. Um, but I was very proud with the girls' effort. Uh, their attitude was positive the whole way through the game. And, and at all, I mean, at any time, we could have scored to, to, to go 3-2 or us go up 4-3 to three on them. Um, it was just one of those games that it was back and forth all game long. You took game two against Midland, 8-6. to six. Once again, you guys were behind for a while, and then it had a huge inning, and then got a little too interesting at the end of the game. Yeah, you know, uh, Midland got us right away. They jumped us, got up 1-0. Uh, again, our bats just kind of were flat. Uh, we just haven't found that spark right away in the early early innings that we need to get us going. It usually takes us one time through the order for us then to get going. And so this game was no different than any other game right now down here. We got through our order and then things started clicking. And the difference in this game was our bottom of the order really came through. Uh, they were aggressive at the plate, put the ball in play for us, and that helped us down the road here. 8-6 um, it got really close. Bottom or Top of seven they hit two home runs on our on Amanda Walters who played all the way through seven innings almost um, and then we had to pull her and bring in Bailey Bauman just to kind of get the last three outs and she came on with a command on the mound again and just finished it off. They didn't get a hit after that she she went one two three. You guys are nine and three on March 23rd. Did you take that? Absolutely. You know, this is a young team. We have one senior, a uh, good handful of juniors, and, you know, our sophomore class is big, our freshman class is small, and so we're, we're young. Uh, and so for the girls to see victories right now early, to be 9-3 and three in our season and see young, um, I'm excited for them because there's a lot ahead of us. There's some really good teams we're going to play with, and for us to compete like we did with the number 21 team uh, in the nation earlier, Oklahoma Christian, there's, there's not a team we can't play with. And so hopefully this whole process, this whole week, has been building for what, what we get next week, and that's with Wayne and Augustana. Um, really looking forward to those two games to put it to the test now after playing this week, putting everything together now, and playing some of the Northern Sun teams. You wrap up spring break tomorrow against Taylor and Mount Mercy. What's the game plan? You guys can have a good chance at picking up two, and which would be pretty special. It would. You know, I, 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 I told the girls here at the end, you know, we, we're starting to accomplish some of our goals that we set early in the year. Um, they, they looked at some of the old records that the school had, and, and the girls are determined to break them this year. They really want this team to be the team that lays the foundation for the future generations of Cougars that come through this program. And so they're really working hard to accomplish those things. Uh, tomorrow could be a special day for the Cougars because we could surpass last year's win total and continue on. Um, and so the girls are really determined to, to make this special, to end this trip with one loss. And so tomorrow we're going out and we're going to take one game at a time. Um, but absolutely, you're right. Uh, we, have, we have the possibility to take two wins tomorrow. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.